Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we break down how fire and forget missiles change the rules of battle. Imagine striking a target and escaping before the enemy can even react. What made this possible and why does it matter so much today? Modern warfare changed fundamentally when missiles no longer required continuous guidance from the operator after launch. The fire and forget technology makes it possible for a weapon to identify, track and strike its target autonomously once fired. This shift significantly reduced pilot workload along with improving survivability and compressed decision-making timelines in combat, thus reshaping air, land and naval engagements. A fire and forget missile uses an onboard seeker to lock onto a target before launch. A Stanford University study says, fire and forget, also known as launch and leave, or shoot and scoot, depending on who is pulling the trigger, refers to weapons that need no further intervention once fired. After firing, the missile guides itself without further input. Seekers typically rely on infrared imaging, millimeter wave radar, or electro-optical sensors, allowing the weapon to remain effective even if the launch platform disengages or maneuvers away. With the help of these weapons, use of vulnerable data links between the launcher and a missile is also reduced. At the core of fire and forget systems is the seeker head. Imaging infrared seekers compare heat signatures rather than simple hotspots, ultimately enabling them to discriminate between real targets and decoys. Radar-based seekers, meanwhile, generate high-resolution target profiles, making them effective in poor visibility and adverse weather. Fire and forget missiles altered combat tactics almost immediately. Pilots and vehicle crews could engage targets and reposition within seconds, reducing exposure to enemy fire. This capability of these weapons particularly proved beneficial for attack helicopters and infantry units operating against armored forces. Several systems became benchmarks for fire-and-forget capability. The world's premier shoulder-fired anti-armor system, Javelin used an arched top-attack profile against battle tanks, while the MBDA Meteor, which is guided by an advanced active radar seeker, brought autonomous terminal guidance to air combat. Naval weapons, such as modern anti-ship missiles, adopted similar principles to defeat layered defenses. The Nagis, India's indigenous third-generation anti-tank guided missile or ATGM, which was developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation. The missile features a fire-and-forget capability with a top-attack profile, which allows it to engage armoured targets autonomously after launch. The missile uses passive homing through an imaging infrared seeker for target acquisition and tracking, enabling day and night operations. This ATGM has an operational range of about 500 meters to 4,000 meters and a flight speed of approximately 220 to 230 meters per second. Despite their autonomy, fire and forget missiles are not invulnerable. Electronic countermeasures, infrared jammers and decoys are designed specifically to confuse seekers. This has driven continual upgrades in the processing power software algorithms, and sensor fusion to maintain effectiveness of this technology. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.